Hello and welcome to Chompy Club. Today, we are super excited to introduce to you Chompy, a magical tape music instrument. My name is Tobias, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of Chompy's unique workflow. To get started, why don't we begin by recording a new sample up here in Chompy's sampling engine. To do this, we just flip the mode switch into the upward position and press the Chompy key. And press the Chompy key. We can immediately play our sample on our chromatic keyboard down here. <laughs> okay, but if we want to make a new sample and that one wasn't quite perfect, we can always press the key again. Always press the key again. Always press the key again. Now, for the purposes of this video, I think we should probably start with something slightly more melodic than that. Yeah, let's use that. It's best practice to move this mode switch into the downward position once we have a sample that we like, and that way we don't accidentally replace it with something else. Now, if we want to change the root pitch of our sample, we can use this encoder right here to return back to the original recorded speed, just press the encoder. But let's say when we recorded our sample that we didn't get the exact moment we were looking for. This knob right here can control the start point of the sample window, and this one controls the end point. And we can use those to get the exact moment we want for our sample. If you click the encoders, you can also have access to an attack and decay envelope but I kind of like the natural envelope that this one has, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is. This fourth knob controls the effects engine. The first page, we call the magic wand. It's kind of like a granular delay reverb, all in one knob. When you click the encoder though, you have access to other effects, and these effects stack on one another. The next page is a high pass to the right, and a low pass to the left. The third page is a tape saturation. <laughs> Definitely get some crunch in there. Okay, but let's be real. Most of you, the entire time I've been talking, have just been staring at this section right here. This is Chompy's looper. we can record and layer our samples into Chompy's looper. This is the loop key, this is the play and the pause key, and this is the transport knob. While our loop is playing, we can also make new samples to add to our loop. Why don't we make a shaker? We can do this as many times as we want to. Like I said earlier, magic. Okay, I'm gonna cut myself off there, but hopefully this video gives you a better idea of what Chompy's capable of. Honestly, we barely scratched the surface. We didn't talk about the presets down here, we didn't talk about the resampling mode, and that's just for this firmware. I just wanted to get you thinking about all the different possibilities. We can't wait to get this instrument out into the world and see what you do with it. Thank you so much for watching.